Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the coolest next-gen tech in the crypto space. From brand new AI tools to must-have apps, play-to-earn games, NFTs, DeFi, wallets, tokens, and everything, blockchain and Web3 related. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Hey everyone! In today's video, let's talk about the recent collapse of one of the most ambitious tech projects out there, Hyperloop. If you were excited about the idea of zooming through vacuum sealed tubes at insane speeds, then the news about Hyperloop 1 shutting down might come as a bit of a letdown. Let's dive into what went wrong. Hyperloop 1, once backed by Richard Branson's Virgin Group, was one of the longest running Hyperloop startups. The company aimed to build lengthy vacuum-sealed tubes for shipping people and goods at super high speeds. It sounded like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. The company's journey was anything but smooth. After its founding in 2014, Hyperloop One went through a series of transformations, including an ugly legal battle between its co-founders and a rebranding to Virgin Hyperloop One after Branson's investment in 2017. But the turning point came when Branson criticized Saudi Arabia following the killing of Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. The kingdom pulled a planned project with the startup, and Branson stepped down as chairman. This was a big blow to the company's momentum. Elon Musk reignited interest in the Hyperloop concept in 2013 by outlining how a modern system would work. His vision involved building a network of underground vacuum tubes through which passengers could travel in pods at high speeds. While his own tunneling company, The Boring Company, is still exploring this idea, Hyperloop One was supposed to be the startup making it a reality. However, Despite raising over 400 million, it never quite got there. Even though Hyperloop One had a taste track outside Las Vegas and completed the world's first passenger ride on a super high speed, leviditing pod system in 2020, the company couldn't win any mature contracts to build a working Hyperloop. The promise of a trip between New York and Washington in just 30 minutes was tantalizing, but without tangible progress, the dream remained just that, a dream. In early 2022, Hyperloop One shifted its focus to cargo transportation, cutting half the staff and dropping the Virgin moniker. Dubai port operator DP World took majority control, but the company's vision became blurry and the project's future seemed increasingly uncertain. With no contracts and no clear direction, Hyperloop One's assets will be sold off and the remaining employees will leave soon. So what went wrong? It turns out that the idea of Hyperloop, while intriguing, was perhaps too ambitious. The technology and infrastructure required to make it a reality are incredibly complex and expensive. And let's be honest, there was a lot of hype surrounding the word Hyperloop. The concept became a sort of buzzword, but the practical implementation just didn't match the grand promises. It's a reminder that not every big tech idea takes off, even when there's a lot of money and star power behind it. Sometimes the gap between concept and reality is just too wide to bridge. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you found this discussion interesting, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech news and reviews. See you next time. So.